What's up everybody, in today's video we are going to make this swipe card effect on Figma. As you already know, I personally like to start with a blank frame with just a nav. Start by creating a rectangle, round its corner, and add a drop shadow effect. Copy it three times, open the Lorem Ipsum plugin, or the Unsplash one to add an image to each rectangle. Add them to the frame. Now starting from the top, you are going to increase the rotation of each rectangle by 10. So the first one is 0, the second is 10, the third 20, and the fourth 30. Copy the frame, select the first one, change its rotation to minus 20 and slide it outside the frame. Now select the remaining rectangle and decrease their rotation by 10. The first one will be 0 instead of 10. The second will be 10 instead of 20 and the third one will be 20 instead of 30. Copy this frame again and do the same job. Select the first rectangle, change its rotation to minus 20, slide it out. Decrease the rotation of the remaining rectangle by 10. and do it for the rest. Now let's just stylize the rest of the page. Copy the first frame and slide the text and the nav bar a little bit. Now select the first rectangle and change its rotation to 20 and scale it up till it covers the whole screen. Now do the same for the other frames. Now add a title and text, you can use the Lorem Ipsum plugin too. Open the Iconify plugin and add an arrow on the left. Add a rectangle under the title and the text and create a mass group for each. Copy and modify those three elements to each frame. Right. 
Right here I didn't like this image, so I changed it. Now that you're done, you can copy each text to the respective parent frame, just as I do. Now select the texts on the mask and slide it down till it disappears. Just to add a little style, it made a starting screen. Now go on prototype and link the starting page to the first frame with an after delay. Now select each rectangle and connect them to the next page with an on drag. Once you are done, select those same rectangles and connect them with their respective child frame with an on click and those custom settings. And do the same for the arrows too. And there you go. 